so let's go this is the question number 9a now let us discuss this question 9a from the model paper so the question is explain the following 32 bit instructions with an example for each okay so they have given some important set of instructions under arm instruction set so the first one they have told us to explain about adc then that is bic lsl and push okay so one by one let us see these instructions with one common examples so the first type of instruction is adc that is add with carry so this already i have explained it in my theory uh, theory classes under this armed uh, processor adc is very simple that is add with carry so we should be adding the contents in the registers present in the two registers but in this case they would be having one important flag which is uh, which is to be updated in the cpsr and that is called as carry flag okay so based on that carry provided the addition would be taking place so let us see that explanation now this instruction performs an addition of two values along with the current state of the carry flag okay that is so the addition would be taking a place that is about two values in the registers would be getting added along with the current state of the carry flag current state it could it could be either one or zero okay it could be adding the carry flag as well it is used in multi word arithmetic operations where the carry out from a lower word addition needs to be included in the higher word addition okay the instruction updates the flags as i have told you the flag in the cpsr that is the program status register in this case it is current program status register would be updated okay so this is all about the explanation of add with carry and this is one example simple you see here the instruction they have used here that is adc r0 comma r1 comma r2 in this case here r0 is the destination register okay and r1 and r2 is are the two also uh, source registers where the operations are taking place that is in these two registers uh, we have some sort of values and those values are getting added up and that value that that result would be getting stored to r0 okay so these two are the source registers and this is the destination register as you see here this instruction calculates r0 is equal to r1 plus r2 plus carry flag because in the instruction they have used adc okay since we have c here so the carry flag would be coming into the picture so this is all about adc next they have told us to explain bit clear that is bic so what is this bit clear let us see now bic or bit clear is a logical operation that clears the bits in the register okay so it has only one work that is whatever the bits are present in the register it is used to clear them okay for example if you take uh, one register r1 and it contains the value of 5 okay so 5 if you want to represent in binary in an 8 bit uh, processor how you represent 5 Five will represent it as zero, 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 one, zero, one. Right. So this is five. So if you want to clear the bits, you should be doing one operation which is mentioned here. That is, it performs bitwise AND operation between the first operand and the bitwise NOT of operand and the bitwise NOT of the second operand. Okay. So this effectively clears the set to zero. any bits in the first operand that are set in the second operand okay so for example if you uh, add of the first operand with the second operand so the and function truth table is what so according to the and function when both the inputs are high then only the logical input would be high otherwise for all of them the logical inputs would be low but here in this case the bit the bitwise and operation between the first operand and the not since we are doing the not of the second operand so that's why it is obvious that Uh, the bit would be automatically be clear. That is, in the last or uh, in the last uh, combination of AND gate, that is for one one, both the combination would be turning to zero. So that's why the resultant also would be completely zero. So that's why you see here we have two bits here. In uh, using these two bits, you are taking the operands not of these two bits. That is one one we have. Then uh, you should be taking zero zero. So if you do the AND operation on that again, it would be zero. So this one would be turning to zero. and this zero one would be turning to zero so final answer would be zero so this is the task of bit clear that is uh, if you want to clear the bits in the particular register then you should be using this operand called as bit clear okay so see the example also they have given here bic r3 comma r4 comma r5 use this instruct uh, this instruction calculates r3 is equal to r4 and into not of r5 okay bits in r4 that correspond to ones in r5 would be clear to zero in r3 okay in these two uh, registers the operations is taking place that is r4 whatever value is present in r4 it would be getting added with not of r5 okay 
So if you do the AND NOT operation, automatically our uh, ones should be turning to zero and all the bits would be clear and uh, if all the bits are clear, then it would be storing back to R3. Okay, so this is all about bit clear. Next we have logical shift left. Okay, this is very easy. Uh, logical shift left that is LSL is a shift instruction that moves the bits of the register to the left by a specific number of positions. Okay, bits shifted out from the most significant bit that is the MSB are discarded that is they are eliminated and the zeros are shifted to the LSB positions. Okay, so one simple example is given here you see here example one immediate shift amount that is LSL R0, R1, hash 4. So you consider one value here, they are hash 4 means you should be doing the left shift 4 times. So I will consider one value that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, okay. So I should be doing the logical shift left 4 times, okay, that is the 4 times. So if I do the 4 time shifting, you, you see here, the MSB bits are all 4 zeros, okay. So those 4 zeros would be completely getting discarded and in the LSB bits, the, the zeros are shifted at the LSB bits. So now if you do the four times shifting, these four zeros will be getting discarded and after shifting four times our answer would be 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So if you compare this with the rotate operation, it is not same. In the rotate operations, whatever would be there in the MSB bit, that would be coming to the LSB bit. But here in this case, it is not that. These all four bits would be getting discarded and in the LSB bits, the zeros would be coming from the LSB bit. Okay. So this is the operation taking place as for the logical shift left okay so this is one example so one more example they have mentioned it here you see here example 2 the register shift amount lsl r0 comma r1 comma this is not r2 this is hash 2 okay this instruction sets r0 equal to r1 logically shifted by the value 2 okay so this is all about logical shift left so we have one more operation that is push operation okay the push, the push instruction is used to store the contents of one or more registers onto the stack memory. In the Cortex M3 or the 32-bit ARM processor, the stack is a full descending stack. Okay, it is a descending stack. That is, it could be uh, going from uh, uh, higher, higher to lower values. Meaning that the stack pointer R13, that is, you know that in the special case registers, stack pointer is given to the place register R13. It decrements before a store operation. The decrementation of the uh, register will be taking place before the store operation. The push operations automatically adjust the stack pointer. It is commonly used at the beginning of the subroutine to, to save the register contents. Okay. See one example you have given here that is push R0 in the flower bracket. This instruction first decrements the stack pointer that is R13 is equal to R13 minus 4. Okay and then stores the content of R0, whatever is present in R0, into the memory location pointed to the new R13, okay. Uh, the memory location after doing the decrementation part, that is minus 4. So why minus 4? Because it is a 32-bit processor and 4 bytes are getting reduced, okay, in a particular memory location. So that's why they are taking R13 minus 4. So now, memory location R13 would be equal to R0, okay. This is one example. Second example is for multiple registers. So this was for single register. For multiple that is push R0, comma R4 minus R7, comma R9. So here what it does is this instruction pushes the contents of R0, R4, R5, R6, R7 and R9 onto the stack memory. The stack pointer is decremented accordingly for each register saved. Okay. So this was for multiple registers. So these was it guys, the operations which I wanted to discuss in this 9A question. ADC, VIC, LSL and PUSH. So this is the next question guys, 9B. The 9B question says that describe CMCs with the diagram and its functions, organizations and scope. So well, let us see what you mean by this CMCs, that is CMSIS, it stands for Cortex Microcontroller Software Interface Standard. Okay, so CMCs is a vendor uh, vendor independent hardware abstraction layer for ARM Cortex M processors developed by the ARM architecture. It standardizes the software interface for Cortex M devices, enabling code portability, easy software development, and tool chain support. Okay, so this is a brief uh, uh, introduction of CMCs. So some of the main functions of this uh, CMCs are first is hardware abstraction. 
that is it provides common interfaces to access core peripherals nvic cystic and registers okay that is a hardware abstraction abstraction would be simply based on the uh, introduction of the hardware in a particular uh, uh, core processor that a hardware would be having its particular set of features which won't, which won't be mismatching with any other software okay next is code portability that is it allows software to be reused across different cortex m devices and vendors okay so this is this is a very important function of this cm sys that is it allows the software to be reused in any other softwares just it uh, it, should, it won't be having any link but uh, it could be reused okay next is tool chain integration it enables consistent debugging trace and performance analysis next is dsp and math libraries it is optimized by dsp that is digital signal processing functions for high performance embedded applications next rtos interface so rtos stands for real time operating systems as you all know it defines a standard api for rtos kernels that is we have uh, discussed the type of kernels uh, kernels that is uh, monolithic and micro kernels uh, in the uh, module 1 okay cmcs and rtos helps to improve the inter interoperability okay so these are the important functions for cmcs next uh, components under cmcs we have cmcs core cmcs dsp cmcs rtos cmcs svd okay that is system view de description then cmcs pack software pack management then we have cmcs nm okay so these things are mentioned here and uh, uh, some examples for each component is given okay the scope it is your the scope is it would be uh, varying from different processors that is arm cortex m0 m0 plus m3 m4 m7 m23 m33 okay for all of this uh, processors this uh, uh, cmc should be supporting it is used in iot devices it is uh, variables industrial control medical electronics automotive microcontrollers okay so this was the answer for 9b noted down